Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And I am a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. But some of the things that I'm uh, hearing about are that people aren't feeling well. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. The topic of this is Twin Flame Love. But there are some things to know and we've been leading up to this time period for quite some time. And what you do need to know is that this solstice will bring out much anger. Some of that goes with other emotions. It could be envy. It could be jealousy. It could be some of those deeper things. Resentments, aggravation, annoyance. There's going to be a lot of things for a lot of people. Now, beyond the emotion is the effects upon the body and how you are able to clear this. Now, that is going to change. Your twin is not going to be alone in this. So a lot of people have actually wished, wished for their twin to go through a lot of stuff and have it be very painful because it's been painful for them. But you know, that isn't really the lightest thing and that tends to be how the mind works. It wants, you know, certain things. But that is not true equality. The true equality is where you balance things. You balance things and you learn how to move things. And that means learning how to move your body. And that means non-physical movement of your twin flame body. So, you should focus on alleviating symptoms. Things that are going to come out. Anxiety, fears, and this could be very extreme for some people. This could be verging into phobias or something very mild like you're afraid to fill out a government form or, or just brings up a sense of some kind of mild fear. It could, And you could be having all kinds of this stuff. You are going to have physical sensations in the hip, groin, the genitals, and your reproductive areas. That's going to happen. And if it's not you, it's your twin. You may feel a reflection of it, no matter what gender body you are. You have known about this. Now it is time to shift. The collective is going to continue to be history. And history is not a mystery. We've had a lot of repetitive things. History keeps repeating itself. So I'm going to remind you of something. Nothing changes if nothing changes. You have to change. You have to change some of the ways you're doing things. So that means accepting where you're at and while you might feel like you're in God's waiting room, this is not God's waiting room. This is God's classroom. This is the time to learn, time to learn about more of who you are, what to do, how you can do things, and how your body interacts with the human side of you. Okay, and there's a reason for it because as we go into 2018, that year is going to be very different than what 2017 was. And there will be more people awakening. So twin flame love is going to bring some people further to their awareness of what this is, why it is. But that is also what I teach and talk about. You're also going to find that some people have had this effect. You have a whole bunch of people and you've got to sort them out. Here's all these people. Is it this one, this one, this one, this one? Who is it? Why is this happening? And look, this poor fellow is hanging on for dear life. He managed to just catch it on the way down. How does he right-size himself and get himself to where he needs to be? Yes, you did a great job there. Okay, so what do you do to sort things out? What do you do to sort out things that are a level that 
You may not recall the details of it. You don't know why it happened. A lot of people don't even know why is this happening. Why is this happening? So come and find out. So I was guided to set up a mini-series here. Now this mini-series is to enable you to ask questions, receive light codes, and to connect with your twin, a really direct connection, so that you can learn from it. So that in learning, that you learn some more about yourself, and it empowers you. Okay? Now, some of the terminology maybe needs to be explained. Are you on a twin flame journey? Well, if you are on a twin flame journey, you're going to find that this goes with certain uh, degree of very high energies, parts of yourself opening up, and it's going to feel very uncomfortable in parts of your life. You may have met a very wonderful person, or, and it could be either way. You may have met a wonderful person, or, you know, and there's stuff about your situation that you might start to doubt about it. Okay, and yet it's undeniable that you felt something. There's reasons that you're able to feel. There's reasons for what are referred to as symptoms, whether people call them ascension symptoms, ascension flu, um, spiritual awakenings, kundalini rushes, kundalini. Kundalini is the energy, it is the collective uh, energy of Earth from the base level and that moves through into the body but not everyone has been able to do this some people have been pushed to do it and so you have imbalances just out there in the collective with what people have been able to do and what they're aware of or what they have forced others to do okay what if you've been forced in other lives now one of the other terms the light codes what are the light codes well light codes are something that uh, bring you to a higher vibrational frequency it is love in the form of light sometimes that is unseen light or what is referred to as unseen frequencies they sometimes can't be measured except by through feelings science doesn't have the technology to measure those they can measure gamma rays and photons and they can measure uh, other frequencies like infrared ultraviolet and infrared you can feel as heat ultraviolet works actually on your skin people use it for therapies there's also sound sound waves okay and those two have a frequency to them you and your twin have a frequency and yet what he has dimmed down your frequencies to find and feel and discern okay so this is the part you're in now to learn you are in a time frame right now of learning what this is learning what the divine masculine is learning what the divine feminine is and this has been a big part of the confusion because messages say the divine masculine is this the divine masculine is that the divine masculine is apologizing the divine masculine is wanting forgiveness the divine masculine is going to be different but people look around and they say nobody's rang my bell nobody has texted nobody has emailed I don't know why those messages say this okay and there are reasons even for that the reason is learning 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 about who you both are and some of you got the big wake-up call when you saw who they are in 3d you know this is you in 3d and you know it's like those old commercials you know that's you that's who you are when you're in that situation and we've all been there at some point the other thing to know is what if there are children on the journey okay what if there's children in or around your union 
Children will be going through symptoms as well. Do you know what to do for them? Are you getting them the true help that they need? Are you able to do things that will actually assist them? Are you able to discern, for example, when they need to be still, when they need activity, when do they maybe need to stay home? Because what we call the ascension flu, they may not actually show up as being sick. They may not show a fever, and yet they're feeling things. How are you able to discern this? So I do talk... I have a child. My child has gone through quite a bit. Oh, last year was doozy. But I went through it and I documented it and I know how to help people not just with my own experience but with guidance. And that is the hugest thing because it is done with guidance. I get on the spot guidance. I started by working with the body. By working with all the sticky spots to help people release negative energies, unwanted relationships. Do you know how to help your twin release unwanted s relationships? Do you know how to get rid of all of the people cluttering up the landscape of your union so that you can people can tell who's who, who's who? Where do we belong in this? Why are there so many people blocking us? Why are there energies interfering with us? Why does it feel like this? Why does love have to feel like this well love is always going to be love love is never fear love can't cannot exist in the same place that people have been holding fear it just can't it won't it's two way different vibrations fear is down here low vibration and love is law it's a much higher vibration so what I have put together is it is time to put in the work as the masculine has now been delivered. It's time for the air aspect of you, which equals the mind, working on the mind and the things that are around the head. Okay. And I do talk about that in there. And also the earthy parts of you, which means your body. That's what this time is for. That's what this part of this retrograde energy the retrograde, so you've got Mercury retrograde, Uranus retrograde, you have a, a new moon right before the solstice, and this new moon is going to bring out some heavy-duty stuff for some people. There are some people maybe a bit, you know, having a diminished effect of this, n having not extreme things. However, there is still the subject of your body, getting your body ready. Okay, so this is good if people have said, well, you know what, I'd really like to work on myself. Yes, you should, but that working on yourself should not exclude your twin. Working on yourself should not be also engaging other soulmates. You do not have to go through any more people to get to your twin. So it doesn't matter who shows up in front of you, you have to say, keep on walking because I'm going where I need to go and you know that person might say hmm I thought that person found me attractive I guess not and she did the right thing for her union she said no she said it silently she didn't have to engage she didn't do anything I know what I've been shown but I got places to be and I've got I'm here to be in love and it's that simple but you also have your body. So all of these aches and pains and things that people have been feeling or that your children feel or that you see other people around you go through. Because I do see people around me. I see people in my area, family, friends, going through some stuff. And sometimes they don't know what to do. Sometimes they're going to the doctor and then that equals medical bills. So... If, you, if things get to the point where you have to go for the medical care, I'm not going to discourage you from doing that. However, I am going to say, in terms of your body and who you are, come and find out. Come and get some good information. Very useful. My plan is that if you join my three-part mini-series here, Love for the Holidays, you will skim through these holidays like someone who zip lines over them. If you follow some of the guidance, I have several dates which I hope are 
in line with people's schedules. The first one is this Sunday, the 17th in the afternoon. That would be in the evening in Europe. That would be early afternoon on the West Coast. The 20th at 8 a.m. The 22nd at 4 p.m. This will be good for people in Australia. That's part one. Part two is December 23rd, December 27th, and December 28th. And then for part three, I actually have four dates selected. December 30th, January 2nd, January 5th, and January 6th. Now this should give you a time where for one price, you join three times and you get carried through the holidays. You have some go-to stuff. Now let's talk a little bit about the holidays. Happy Hanukkah to everyone who's celebrating Hanukkah. It's going to be Christmas. It's going to be New Year's for everyone. Usually people are around other people quite a bit. There's gatherings. There's family stuff. Holidays are a stressor. They can be one big stress ball for people. There are sometimes companies that are going through all of their end of the year stuff and compliance reviews and you know the person may be going, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. And other people might be just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what next year is going to look like. Or they may be having pressure from their family. Hey, do this, do that, do that. And it doesn't feel like fun. It feels like stress. And I know a fair amount of people who will say, there is only one way to get through this holiday and it's not sober. Where's the wine? Where's, where's the drink? Give me a drink. <laughs> Somebody give me a drink. But I'm going to tell you there are better answers than that. And there are reasons that Twin Flames don't, shouldn't drink. And one of the main reasons is it lowers your vibration. Okay, it might feel like it de-stresses you. When it comes to your body, it actually lowers your vibration. It increases the potential for these kind of emotions. It will not actually release these emotions. In fact, sometimes these emotions come back with a vengeance. All you did was numb it out. So if you want to find some good go-to stuff for the holidays, join Love for the Holidays. I am also available for sessions for chat if you need to follow up and I also do live in-person body work to help balance your chakras your chakras are your energy portals okay so I don't want to assume people just know this I'm happy to tell you and teach you and let you put it in plain English sometimes you feel out of whack sometimes you feel out of balance sometimes you just feel like crying sometimes you want that love and feeling back. That's what I'm here to help empower you with. So you did come here to be the light and the love. You didn't come here to wait around indefinitely. Okay. But you are learning. You are, you have parts to you. And there is also two of you. Okay. There's two of you. There's two of you no matter how you slice it. Okay, whether or not you want to go into denial about that, that's a personal decision, but that's not going to last very long because there are two of you. You won't stop feeling. There's another thing to know. That astral part of your twin isn't going to be in that same place that you thought. That's a huge change for 2018. We've been closing out the astral plane and people have been being buffeted around in that pollution for a long time. In fact, they equate it with the dark night of the soul. It's not a dark night of the soul. It is simple uh, astral pollution. And so if you want to get up to the level, if you want to shift this so that, you know, you're going from here and you're turning it around and starting to get in the direction you need to, find out how. I want you to know that that is one of my uh, things that I've been tasked with and I've been working on this actually for years already. I didn't just appear on the scene. I have been doing this, uh, like I say, in the form of body work. Actually, 
Thank you to everyone who has had sessions. You've been fabulous. It has been a privilege and an honor to hear your love stories, to get to know some of you, to see the progress that has been made, to see people actually apply the things that they're learning and really feel better when these energies come around again. But like I say, if this is new to you, if it's new and you're just finding out and you're starting to connect the dots on this and say, hmm, this happened, that happened, and yeah, I'm having, I'm having aches and pains, I'm having a lot of things down here in this area, or my back hurts, and I just don't know what it is, and it's getting alarming because I've already tried some things and it's just not working. And some of the same old stuff isn't working for you. That too has a reason, and the reason has to do with your connections to your other. I am a person who is able to read both energies, both you and your twin. Not everyone can do that. I don't know what everyone can do, but I do know that not everyone can do that. I do do that. And there's two of you, and you want there to be two of you because that's what you came here for. You came here to be in love and cuddle and have your passion, okay? And that's another thing I'm going to talk about in here. Love for the holidays doesn't mean spreading the wealth. It means keeping it nice and, and you know, where it belongs. So, thank you so much for watching. The links are below. The links are on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. I will encourage questions. But come and find out. I guarantee you, you will get back to feeling. You will get that loving feeling back. Twin flame love. Everything is going to be twin flame. And the more you go along, you will see how everything in your life is connected to twin flame. Twin flame. And I'm going to say it right now. You're not crazy. These things that you're feeling does not mean that you're crazy or that you imagined it. Please don't put the doubts there. Come and find out. No doubt, come and find out. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye now.